This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Uh, this is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update out here. And uh, currently we have uh, U.S. equity futures trading the upside. The Dow futures up 124 points. The Nasdaq up 143. That's a little over 1% right now. The ES Mini's up 30. Uh, the Russell's up uh, 13 points. If you look across the globe last night, it was green arrows in Asia and Australia. You had the Shanghai or Hang Seng, Hang Seng actually finished up nearly 3% to the upside. The DAX is up one percent right now the footsie's up three tenths percent so everything is set up here as you can see like last friday when we were together and the friday before the handoff from international markets to the u.s should allow u.s indices to continue to trade higher and i expect with that spot volatilities trading below its 50-day expense moving average that in fact that is likely to happen out there now levels to be watching during the day out here if you take a look at just simply the index etfs the spies the Qs, the diamonds the iwm the levels that you're looking for are their prior swing points. In the case of the SPY, it's 408.57. You get a close above that, that tells you that we have a change in trend and a further rally. Uh, a rally that should last for the next week or two out here. In the case of the Qs, the level you're looking for is 306.56. That's its prior swing. You get a close above that price to then go target its next resistance level. That's at 316.69. The Dow Diamonds, the level you're looking at is 327.10. It's already above that, I can tell you, in the pre-market because it, in essence, closed just below that yesterday. So close above this suggests a further rally inside of the Dow. The Russell 2000. 182.64. It actually closed at 182.72 yesterday. So the real resistance level for it is the top of its profile, and that's at 183.92. Closes above those levels here today, folks, are going to suggest that we have a further rally. Now, that doesn't mean we don't see a retracement. In fact, we should see some kind of retracement. That begins... Maybe it's uh, maybe it begins on uh, Tuesday. We come back. Uh, maybe it's a uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. But we should begin to see some type of retracement out there. If you take a look at the cash indices, the levels you're looking at for here in the Dow is a close above 32,654. That says we had higher. 4090, uh, 4091 basically in the S and P says we had higher. 12,564 in the Nasdaq 100. 1840 in the Russell 2000. 3071 in the semis. And New York Stock Exchange has already said we're headed higher up there. It's already taken out its prior swing point. Folks, stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien, the morning market kickoff. And have a uh, fantastic holiday weekend, a fantastic Friday. And I'll see you Tuesday morning, 8 o'clock, sure. Take care.